The Soyuz TMA-16 Russian, Soyuz TMA-16 was a manned flight to and from the International Space Station ISS. It transported two members of the Expedition 21 crew and a Canadian entrepreneur from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan to the ISS. TMA-16 was the 103rd flight of a Soyuz spacecraft, the first flight launching in 1967. The launch of Soyuz TMA-16 marked the first time since 1969 that three Soyuz craft were in orbit simultaneously. Guy Lilly Burt, founder and CEO of Cirque du Soleil, was a spaceflight participant aboard TMA-16 during its flight to the ISS, paying approximately $35 million for his seat through the American firm Space Adventures. He returned on board the Soyuz TMA-14 spacecraft left as an emergency vehicle during that previous flight. The Soyuz TMA-16 flight spacecraft flew back to Earth with only two crew members. Topic: Crew. Topic: Backup crew. Topic: Mission highlights Soyuz TMA-16 was docked to the ISS at the aft port of the Zvezda module. On January 21, 2010, cosmonaut Surev and Expedition 22 commander Jeffrey Williams relocated the spacecraft to the zenith-facing port of the Poisk module. The Soyuz TMA-16 spacecraft undocked from the aft end of the Zvezda service module at 5.03 am. Esten backed away to a distance of about 100 feet from the space station. Undocking occurred as the station flew about 213 miles high off the southwest coast of Africa. Redocking occurred at 5:24 a.m. Eastern Standard Time after Surev fired the Soyuz maneuvering thrusters to fly halfway around the orbiting space station and line up with the Poisk module. Spaceflight participant Guy Lilly Burt landed aboard Soyuz TMA-14 after approximately 12 days in space, while Surev and Williams landed aboard TMA-16 in Kazakhstan on March 18, 2010. Topic: Space tourism status. Soyuz TMA-16 could have been the final flight of a space tourist to the International Space Station for some time. With the imminent retirement of the Space Shuttle and the expansion of the station to six crew members, all Soyuz crew positions for the foreseeable future should be occupied by Expedition crew, until another manned spacecraft such as Orion is available to service the International Space Station. <laughs> <laughs> 